Hello, everybody. Welcome to Open, Open Up Summit 2020. I'm really excited to be here uh, virtually, obviously, because of COVID. Uh, so today I'll be talking about a very interesting topic, not necessarily around open source, as you see, but um, if you look really well into my slide, you see that little Africa in there because um, it's something that I'm very passionate about and something that I've been doing for the past three years um, on a project called the Open Source Community Africa. And um, so I will try as much as I can to stretch this conversation by making it um, sections to sections on how we built the open source to the F open source festival. So basically, um, the open source space has been really important to me as a person, um, you know, through communities, through technology. But what we, what we have done in the continent has been able to add, you know, that festival in there, because the point is to have some kind of a celebration on the continent that just makes it much easier for people to connect together to discuss, you know, the, the, the state of open source on the continent. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Samson Gaudi, obviously, as you may know. Um, I'm a co-founder for the Open Source Community Project or Open Source Community Africa Project. And, and also, aside from you know, building communities on the continent, I currently serve as a board member for the Open Source Collective, which is a fiscal host for um, you know, Umbrella Org that hosts projects on the Open Collective platform. And also, I currently serve as a board of directors for a project that I'm really excited about, like something I've been passionate about for the past eight years now called Sugar Labs. I've been serving as a member, but now currently serving as a board for the, the project. So this means I currently help run the organization. And recently, I became a member for um, the Genome Foundation. This is a project I've been contributing to unofficially for like a couple of years now, but officially um, on particularly focused on the continent, Africa again. Yeah, and so for some disclaimer, I'll be mentioning a lot of Africa because I'm really excited about the continent because this is really awesome for me to, to talk about Africa. You can follow me on Twitter and Samson Gaudi underscore, Samson underscore Gaudi um, on Twitter. Uh, I believe same, same, same ID on Facebook, is, um, LinkedIn. I'm not even sure where I am anymore, but Twitter is also great. So a little bit about Open Source Festival. So Open Source Festival is pretty interesting because um, if you look at this, this throwback, we have 2017, 2018, 2019, and also 2020. So 2017 was the year that I, you know, sort of came up with the idea of trying to get more people into open source. This was really challenging for me because it's something I've been doing on a solo level. So meaning I've been working on myself and maybe including some friends, but not on a global way or not even in a community way where we could share the same framework to people around us or even to talk about other countries in Africa. So it was really, really challenging for us. Um, so I, I came back from Silicon Valley in that 2017 and I met a friend called Ada. Uh, and Ada currently is my co-founder for this project. And we basically discussed about the idea of trying to have, a, you know, open source advocates because they've been, you know, on the continent of Africa, there's been some interesting communities. Um, you know, there's a lot of community building on the continent, but we wanted something unique, something different, something you know very specific to what you know we both of us we believe in when it comes to open source. Myself, particularly when it comes to projects, community advocacy, and also programs. So these are things that I'm really really excited about. Um, so we kind of like came up with the idea, and then in beginning of 2018 we figured out that we don't want to create an organization that just focus on on project but in a way that we have we invest a lot around community because in the continent of africa community is very very important because this 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 this, this way you create an, a welcoming environment where both experienced people and also you know beginners can, can come together and discuss ways to improve that community so basically, we combined both the community side and the, and the organization side of it into one in 2018, where we um, split the community side into chapters. And I'll be talking about that um, in, later on. And then in 2019, after building communities and having chapters around, we, we were, it was a bit challenging for us because all like every open source project, it needs to be sustainable. This means financial sustainability. And I figured out that, hey, this was, a, I, I came across a, a, an event called the Open Source Summit. And, and 
you know, the, the thing about the Open Source Summit was the fact that I was able to, you know, talk to people within the, the, the space. So it was a one day event where we discussed on ways to sustain open source. So I, I, talk, I spoke with a co-founder like, hey, um, I have a cool project from Africa that I want to register on the platform. She was like, okay, great, bring it in. And I registered Oscar and then officially we became a project under the Open Source Collective. So this was really interesting for us because it was able, we were able to have frameworks that could you know, bring in money and do things that could make things work for us and also sustain some of the activities. And then in 2020, obviously before the, 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 the whole pandemic thingy, we hosted a festival, Open Source Summit, um, Open Source Festival on the continent. This was really important for us because we had a lot of interesting people from, 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 from program managers to community builders to technical advisors to you know, programmers, designers, and everybody came together in, you know, for a three days um, um, summits or festival, like we, we call it in, in, the, in the open source community side, to just celebrate the concept around open source. So this was really challenging for us because it was, it was a new idea, but also it was really awesome because a lot of persons you know, came in with different ideas and we were able to do this before the festival. Um, it was one of my proudest moments because that was the last thing I did before COVID, unfortunately. So I'm looking forward to having you know, more festival. Um, so speaking about um, what, what we've been able to do, um, we created an event in 2018, um, more of a boot camp in 2018, where we hosted um, kind of a test run, sort of, um, in the city I live in called Port Harcourt. And what we did was the fact that we were able to um, spoke, um, we, we, I, I reached out to a friend of mine, um, so, so the team, um, the Google open source team, I was like, hey, this program has been really interesting and really impactful on the continent. Uh, we need to create something that is specific for us in Africa. So this was really, really important for us because we, we, we wanted more people to come into the program. And to be able to do that, we wanted um, people to participate and also to get more ideas. And given the fact that we couldn't get these people from, you know, let's say from Silicon Valley down to, to, to Port Harcourt, then we created the event more of a in person, but in virtual for some speakers that couldn't make it in person. So as you can see on the screen, we 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 host we hosted it on on a university setting, actually you know, called them the River State University in Port Harcourt, and we had about over a hundred plus um, students. Um, some of them are computer science students, some are just interested in coding, to come to you know to discuss on ways to come into the Google Sum of Code program. So in the photo on the screen is a, a friend of mine called Joe Simon. So at that time, he used to be a program manager for the open source um, program office at Google. But now I think he serves as an as a open source strategist for Salesforce. So he was, he was really, really helpful um, on the program. So this kind of like gave us an idea on what hosting a community around open source um, is and also hosting events around open source to show how important people cared about the, the idea. So we kind of expanded in a way that we, at some point we wanted to make sure that we, we grow in a much larger scale. And so currently, um, so this is a, a map, um, I believe this is going to be much larger uh, at the end of 2020, or maybe hopefully 2021 before the next festival. Uh, we are currently you know, in Sierra Leone, um, um, like up to six places in, in Nigeria alone, and Kenya, I think, um, and also Ethiopia. I think there's a one other one called Uganda, I believe that we're supposed to have on this one. Oh, sorry, Zambia, I can see. So, you know, that's one, that's one crazy thing because uh, Africa is really large. I can't really tell like <laughs> everywhere. But yeah, so we're currently in five countries at the moment, 11 cities and also 10, 10 um, over 1,000 members, active members uh, on, our, on our chat channels and also within the community. So what I've been able to do is to create, you know, a, a structure where, you know, Oscar is going to be the, the supporting organization while supporting this group, but on that open source community Africa umbrella. So, um, you know, speaking about the chapters, these are like, you know, just some um, example photos of different events hosted in different parts of Africa. So um, the, the first, the, the, the upright one you see there is from Kenya, that one in Port Harcourt, then so a few also in Port Harcourt, one in Lagos and one in, in, the, in the state called Abba by um, Abia State in, in Nigeria, and also the, the one in River State University. So there have been some bunch of photos, but this was the, you know, one of the proudest moments for us uh, as building a community. Technically, I think all these events are like the inauguration event that we did in that particular city. That's why it's more here, but we've done a lot of events so far. So what I've been able to do is to make sure that we get people from different regions to understand the scope of what open source is. So particularly, given the fact that we didn't want to push 
you know, a specific the definition of what open source is, we wanted to do it in a much uh, in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a much focused way. We um, decided to make it very focused. So in a way that we the power is more of the community, the local community, on what they decide to do with 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 the program. So that's why you know you've you've been seeing something different. Particularly, we've had events around open source design. We've had events around you know. Um, bounties where you contribute to open source and you get paid. We've done some things around technical writing. We've done some virtual events too, um, mostly virtual events these days because of COVID. Um, so this is this is kind of like the heart of open source community Africa because this is what our structure is. So the two things that we care about um, or the things we're pushing for on the open source community Africa is to drive in um, two things. So the community side, like I mentioned, and also the project side. But for the past two years, we've been focusing on the community side because we want to make sure that we onboard as much people as possible before trying to transit into making them a, a, um, a people on, on projects. So on the community side, we kind of divided things into two. So we have chapter events and also we have the festival. So the first ever festival happened in February 2020, 2020 um, in Lagos, Nigeria, where we had about 800 persons. Then the chapter is more of like a smaller event where things are more localized, you know, and more geared into the local community needs. We try not to influence things, but also give materials and also to coin the event, so meaning support the event and also support, you know, the 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 the, the people around the event. Um, but currently, we're trying to look for ways to build projects because one of the 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 the, the the statement we like making on the open source community African space is the next billion creators. I know this sounds really interesting because um, we we want you know you know one of one of the challenges that you know open source in global or open source as as a, as, a, as a per the definition is the fact that diversity is still a challenge in some way and particularly from the continent Africa, it has been a, a strong challenge so far. So. Um, the project side of it is something that we've been working on with foundation, you know, existing projects to see how we could help them bring their project for people to start contributing. So in two ways, we've, we've created it in a way that we've created advocacy. So meaning we, this is like armies of people, right? Going to, to events to talk about what open source is, but also converting, you know, more people into contributors, you know, having them work on open source project internally or work on open source project externally. So what, I, what do I mean by internally? So projects that are known for Oscar and also projects that are known for like, you know, our, 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 our partners, right? So foundations or projects that we've, we've partnered with. So for example, we've partnered with Sugar Labs, we've partnered with Open Collective on Bounties, and we've been able to drive contributors into the Open Collective platform. So that's something that we've, we've been working on when it comes to the project side of it. And also, when it comes to the skill sets, we focus primarily on the um, developers, designers, and technical writers. But so far, we've been pushing for more things like data science and just making sure that we get more people because you know we, we look in, we look, we we are trying to make sure that we have a diverse skill set in a way that you know having a diverse skill set kind of drives that true diversity of open source. That means you have like you know different people across, not just submit code or submit patches as you know your typical open source projects would be. So on the project side, like I said, you know, it's something that is very important for us. It's something that we started working on. Uh, we've been working on projects, um, working with existing uh, organization in the project to get, you know, contributors within the open source space to work on, on, on what, what they want to do, but also also learn through the same process to see how we could create projects locally that could help some, some programs, especially on the social sector of things like, you know, um, having some need of data or have some design systems or have things that would just basically help people when it comes to um, OSS and you know give, give them the opportunity to know what it means to be an open source container and how to you know run programs. Um, so the festival like I mentioned it, um, what we basically did was um, had up to 800 um, plus members I think we achieved 800 um, for two days technically it's three days because we had a, a sustained Africa event um, on the first day so the two days was just primarily for the festival then we had about over 20 plus talks there's a lot of people with different uh, skill set and different backgrounds including you know cultures that came down to Lagos to, to share the open source um, on journey and then obviously we had up to 10 plus workshops which was you know very really interesting um, so one of the highlights during the festival um, was, you know, we had a panel section where we discussed um, some programs from Google, like particularly the, the open source, um, the Google Sum of Code and Google Coding. And I think we also discussed about Season of Docs and then some other non-Google programs like the Outreach program. So these are all um, um, people that are 
directly and indirectly participated on this program as mentors and also as students. So like myself and there's a few other folks there. So look at that, that I'm, I'm that guy looking at that dude there. <laughs> yeah, so it was a really interesting panel section for us. Uh, also, we discussed about um, panel section and these are like just some kind of uh, the highlights of the festival from the awesome designs from our designers on the tags and the swags. And you see, I put it on my cap right now. It's really awesome. And, um, you know, interesting um, tweets. So you can, you could you could track more what happened by using the hashtag. Um, I believe the hashtag should be somewhere here called um, Oscar Fest. So you could go and see what we've been doing so far. Uh, so what is what is 2020 for us? Um, 2020, I would say it's almost done because of COVID. But what we're trying to do is to make sure that we we, we start pushing for projects. Like I mentioned, this is something really important for us as as, an, as, as, as a community. And we, we want to push in. That means work. we're looking for more supporters and more funders and more people that have projects and also would help us. To, to drive that project away. But we really want to focus on having more projects, you know, from 2020 to 20 and upward. Um, why also paying attention to the community? Because again, the community part is really important to us also. Um, so these are things that we've been doing so far. We've collaborated with um, uh, another initiative my, actually, my co-founder is the, the sole founder for this project called She Code Africa. Um, so what the, this is a project where they, um, they, they, they kind of onboard females um, in Africa to, to, to come into technology. And it just kind of makes sense for Oscar to partner with She Code Africa to just drive the women in open source community Africa. So this means bringing open source programs and then you know, collaborate with She Code to get more women into open source. So kind of a win-win for us because, again, She Code Africa get to train these people on technology and then we're trying to make sure that we onboard these people on open source. So this was really something we have been doing. So we've been doing a lot of series so far. You can you could you could follow us on Twitter and see what we've been doing in, in, in a more of a collaborative spirit with the She Code African group. Um, so this is a, a conversation too from you know um, within the, the internal internally from Oscar we, we care about design. Design is something that we, we really care about in the space. And um, this is something that we're really excited about and you know our members has been able to you know work with you know like for example the open source design.net group to make sure that we bring more designers into open source in general or why also advocating for open source so perry uh piece of gem she also like identify herself as perry is somebody that has been pushing for this for a long time now um this is one of the, the things we really care about um so the bounty programs like i mentioned we work with open source collective to get issues that are placed on bounties to bring down to africa and then people in africa work on the bounties and then get paid so this is really interesting <laughs> program for us also. So we also became an affiliate member for OSI. So this means we'll be working with OSI to define open source while also advocating for open source in general. So this is very, very, very important for us because we get to work with, you know, one of the, the foundations that kind of define open source, which is pretty cool. I'm actually a member for the organization. So it's really awesome to see that, you know, my organization is working with them too. Um, so yeah, so just basically, um, so that's actually the end of my talk. Um, you could follow us on 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 on, on Twitter. Uh, you can help donate on, on open source collective platform, um, open source uh, opencollective.com slash Oscar. You could see what we've been doing and also help donate on Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter because that's where we do actively. I think the same thing on Facebook, but this is our website, um, Oscar. Um, OSCAAfrica.org. You can also check what was going on there. So thank you very much. Um, I'm looking forward to answer questions. If you do, please tweet at me on Twitter um, on um, Samson Gadi underscore uh, Samson underscore Gadi. If you have more questions, and you can also um, shoot me emails if you if you if you have at Samson Gadi at gmail.com. Sorry, I haven't put it on the slide, but I'll be hang hanging around on the question side. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to talk to me. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, have a nice day.